Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Yummy Quick Recipes. Today I am going to make a very popular dessert of Pakistan which is called Zarda. It is a perfect dish for rice lovers and I must say it is a budget friendly dish. For this all you need is 1 cup of sela rice or golden rice but you can also use basmati rice if you like but it tastes always better with sela rice. You have to soak this rice for at least about three to four hours and then we have to boil it one cup of sugar i'm taking raw sugar but you can also take refined sugar if you like six cloves three cardamoms some cashew nuts raisins and almonds which i have already blanched and cut into half some cardamom powder Three tablespoons of clarified butter, but you can also use panaspati ghee if you like, but please don't use oil for this recipe. And obviously the yellow food color. During boiling, I have added three cardamoms and three cloves and yellow food color. And you should boil this rice until it's full done. This is the important thing of this dish. You should cook it until it's full done because it will not cook further because of sugar. So let's start our further cooking. So I have add 2 tablespoons of clarified butter. Now I am adding cloves and cardamom powder. When it cooks a little bit then switch off the flame because we have to layering our rice first I'm switching off my flame okay now I'm layering the rice like this then I'm going to add sugar all over the pot like this Now again I have switched on my flame on a high heat and now I'm going to cover this for about a minute. So after a minute as you can see uh, most of the sugar disappears. You don't have to add any liquid into it. Don't worry it will not stick. As you can see it will not stick because sugar relieves its moisture. So cook it until all the sugar evaporates, disappears and then I'll add the dry fruits. Cover it. So after five minutes, as you can see, sugar disappears but the moisture is still there. So this is the time when you add your dry fruits. and the remaining clarified butter mix it well and cook it further for about five to six minutes and it will be ready the heat is still on medium and you don't have to cook it on a low flame okay then i'll show you later so the zerda is ready to eat for about 25 years ago, I have learned this recipe from my father-in-law when he was very ill. Since then, I made it and it comes out perfect always. Follow my instructions so you don't have to do any more experiments. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel so you can get many many delicious recipes always. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye-bye.